What's up guys, Luna from XS here. Hadn't made a video in a while. I've been sick. I, I've I had a lot going on. I had to drive somebody to the airport. I've had to like go all over the place. And today I finally took care of myself. I took off work because my leg's swollen because I have an infection. I got a steroid shot for that infection. So maybe it will go away hopefully in the morning because I really need to go back to work. But I thought I would make this video. Uh, I, I probably titled it like Connor McGregor's Afraid of Khabib or something like that. And... I don't think he is. A lot of people do think that he's afraid. He won't fight. A lot of it, 99% of it's trolling. People who are just trolling uh, on YouTube and all that. But uh, there's there are people who actually believe that Conor McGregor is physically afraid of Khabib. Um, so I thought, I, I posted on MMA World a comment saying, all the people who I thought Conor McGregor would not fight, even when they said they're going to fight each other. I was like, there's no way they're going to fight each other. You can't you can't do that. He'll get beat. You know what I'm saying? So I put a list of the people I said Connor wouldn't fight. I said Connor wouldn't fight Max Holloway. I thought this, Max Holloway was not a big name at the time. He's a big name now, but at the time he was not a huge name. In the MMA world, he was a prospect. He was, he was bad. He was whooping people, all that stuff. And when I heard Connor was going to fight him, I knew who Max Holloway was. And I was like, this is not a good thing. Connor should not fight this guy. He will beat Connor. And I thought, like, if anybody is smart, they're not going to allow Connor to fight him. So I thought it wouldn't happen. Boom, it happened. Connor beat him. Now you get the, uh, oh, well, if he fought him again, he wouldn't beat him. It's, it's like that with everything. Uh, we'll move on to the, if he fought him again, he wouldn't beat him thing, because that's been disproven. I, when. When uh, Jose Aldo and Connor were supposed to fight the first time and Aldo backed out with the, the injury, they said Mendez would fight Connor. I said, Connor will not fight Mendez, dude. And Connor can't wrestle like as good as MMA wrestlers. No way they're going to let Connor fight Mendez. No way it's going to happen. I also said, there's no way that Connor will beat Mendez. Mendez will beat him. Boom. Connor beats Mendez. He fights him first off, and I'm blown away. Beats Mendez. And then all the, oh, if Mendez had a full camp. And that's where the joke, full camp Mendez comes from. Because anytime uh, Chad Mendez loses, he's like, well, if I had a full camp, you can't beat full camp Mendez. He's like a super Saiyan. He's like my Go Gohan or whatever fell over. He's like a super Saiyan when he's got a full camp. But you always get that. The second time when when Aldo said he was he was good, he was cleared to fight. I said there ain't no way Connor will fight Aldo now. He's already kind of mentally beat him. He knows he can't beat him physically, but he's mentally mentally beat him, so he'll move on. Connor won't fight Aldo, and also Connor will not beat Jose Aldo. Boom! I was wrong about that. Knocks him out in 13 seconds, and then all of a sudden that's a fluke. Oh well, if they would have fought longer, if they fight again, Connor will lose. Uh, Connor won't fight Nate Diaz. I thought this. I really 100% was like, there's no way Connor's going to go from 145 to fight Nate Diaz at 170. Nate Diaz, the Diaz brothers are some of the greatest MMA fighters in MMA. Nobody wants to fight him. And Connor McGregor, in the height of his McGregorness, calls out Nate Diaz. Or Nate Diaz called him out first, but Connor accepts and takes the fight. They make a lot of money. Connor loses. I said Connor would lose, but I also said that Connor would never fight Diaz. So Connor loses. Connor fights Nate Diaz again. That's another thing. Connor won't fight Nate Diaz again. Connor fights Nate Diaz again. The second time I said he's going to lose again. It's just going to happen. He's just going to lose. Nate Diaz is he's bigger, he's faster, his stamina's better, everything. All of his attributes are all better. Connor will I, I said Connor won't fight him again and also said that Connor won't beat him. Boom, I was wrong about both those. He fought him again, and he beat him. Um, now everybody's saying, well, he won't fight him a third time. What does Connor have to do is my thing. Does he got to go fight Godzilla? I don't I don't know. Uh, Connor won't fight Rafael Dos Anjos. So I put Connor won't fight RDA. I thought, that, I was like, there's no way he's going to fight him. This guy's a monster. He's a flipping monster. He's a 155. Connor, Connor was... Uh, Actually, I think Connor was supposed to fight RDA before Diaz, but I can't remember. Connor was going to move up to 155 pounds and fight a monster. And I was like, he's not going to beat him, and he's not going to fight him. Boom, they put the fight together. RDA backs out with an injury, and the fight never happens. Um, 
because RDA then lost to Alvarez. And that's my second point. Connor won't fight Alvarez. I said there's no way he'll fight Alvarez. Alvarez just beat RDA, and Alvarez is just too good. Connor won't fight Alvarez, and he won't beat Alvarez. I said these things. I'm trying to, like, I'm a Connor fan because he's just so entertaining, but I try and be realistic with my fight picks. So far, I've been wrong in every fight. I figured he could pull off the win with Max Holloway, but all the other fighters I've listed, I, di I didn't even give him a chance. Connor won't fight Alvarez. Connor won't beat Alvarez. He did both of those things, and he, he beat him, and he beat him bad. There were no, that was one of the only fights where I didn't hear excuses. I didn't hear people like, well, he won't fight Alvarez again. Or, well, if Alvarez was blah, 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 he would have beat Connor. That was one of the only fights where I didn't hear excuses for the fighter that Connor dismantled. Connor won't fight Mayweather. Dana White said this, and I believe Dana White. So I said it myself. I said, there's no way he's going to fight Mayweather. There's no way anybody's going to allow that to happen. That's just stupid. MMA guy going into box, one of the greatest boxers of our generation, 49-0, and 0, unstoppable, barely been even touched with a glove, and Conor McGregor's going to just drop his MMA gloves and go pick up boxing for a couple months and then fight the greatest boxer of all time. It happened. I didn't think it was going to happen. Once they said it's going to happen, I said, all right, well, he's going to lose. I had Connor, uh, I picked Connor losing. I had him winning the first two rounds before the fight, you know, and then I had him losing, I think, in the fifth or sixth. Might have even been later than that, but I did not have him making it all the way to the tenth. So he makes it all the way to the tenth with the greatest boxer of our generation. And then all the excuses come out. Well, Floyd dragged him on to make the fight good. So anytime Connor does anything, there's an excuse after he does something amazing. There's always an excuse. So with Khabib, I even said to this guy, some guy commented, he said, uh, don't worry, you don't have to feel... I, I, I said, this is my exact quote. Connor won't fight Holloway. Connor won't fight Mendez. Connor won't fight Aldo. Connor won't fight Diaz. Connor won't fight Diaz again. Connor won't fight RDA. Connor won't fight Alvarez. Connor won't fight Mayweather. I've said all these things before and I felt very dumb afterwards. I really did. So a guy commented and said, Don't worry, you don't have to feel dumb. This time he won't fight Khabib. And that's a fact. He will not fight Khabib. That's what this guy says. So I comment to this guy and say, Okay, good, because I'm so tired of looking like an idiot. I'll say it. Connor won't fight Khabib. God, I hope this pays off. I'll say it right here. Connor will not fight Khabib. He will not fight Khabib ever, anywhere, on any planet whatsoever. Now, get this. I have been wrong. Let's see. Is that eight times? Six, seven, eight. Yeah. I've been wrong eight times. Eight times I have said that thing. Connor won't fight this guy. I've also been wrong. Uh, I had I had Diaz winning. Uh, and then I was wrong the second time. And also I had Mayweather winning. I knew Connor wouldn't beat Diaz the first time. I thought the second time, but I was wrong about that. And then I knew Connor wouldn't beat Mayweather. And I was almost wrong about that. So I mean, like, even then I was six and two on that prediction. So I'm I'm 0 and 8 on who Connor will and will not fight. I'm hoping that Connor won't fight Khabib so I can be one and eight. At least I can have a win in some category when it comes to pulling against Connor McGregor. Uh, and I'm also two and six versus the people who, the fight that I said, okay, he, he will lose to these two guys. I was right about that. And then I was wrong six other times. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know, like, what is, I, I just don't, it's so hard. Like, I can't compute. He fights everybody that they say he shouldn't fight. And he beats everybody just about always. He didn't beat Mayweather and he didn't beat Nate Diaz the first time. But he beats people who they say he shouldn't even be in the ring with. I think it's hate. I think a lot of it's hate. I've done this myself. I've hated on fighters or people who were successful because I, I'm, I'm not their level of success. I think I'm su successful, but not their level. Um, I think that's where 99% of this hate comes from. It's people who know they will never achieve that. They know that they won't go from being on the social welfare in Ireland to being worth millions of dollars. They know they will never achieve that. <laughs> Sorry, I hit my thing. They know they'll never achieve that. So all they can do is just say, well, Connor won't do this. Well, he won't do that. 
And like, it's you could take Elon Musk, super successful businessman. There's a lot of people who keeps telling him, well, you're not going to do this. You know what I'm saying? It, it just doesn't make any sense for me. Uh, to me. I, don't, I didn't mean for this video to go over 10 minutes, but it's about to. Don't worry, there's not going to be a second ad coming because I don't click those. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, subscriber request playoffs for those who are still watching the video. Subscriber request playoffs. I'm posting those. I'm not doing them live. Uh, I, I just haven't felt great to do an actual live video, but subscriber request playoffs is coming up very soon. I will be posting it hopefully within an hour from this video being posted. So you'll see if you won. If you're still watching this and you even care, we got Mad Slav, Stephen Reed, Stella Head, M. Keezy, Bayless Now, Sasas, XXX, or whatever, Call of Duty XX, Martin Larson, Mikkel Kedger Haitian. I can't pronounce these names. Finley Wilson, Kristen, No Donis, Ryla Carl, and then I have two that I haven't put on the list yet. I can't remember who those are. Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all subscribe to my channel if you want to get a request in. The board's not up right now because I knocked it off last night and I got to hang it back up. Eventually, this whole wall right here would be the board and that will be really awesome. But anyways, y'all subscribe to my channel. You can, you can request anything for me to react to or just me give my opinion on and I'll do it. Somebody asked for an opinion video uh, earlier and I'm thinking about doing it even though I don't know. It's about Lionel Messi and somebody else. I don't know who... I don't know. I, I know who they are, but I don't know much about them. So you're probably going to get a really unbiased opinion from me because I don't know that much about them. But uh, I, I want to do that video. Probably be a bonus video like this one is kind of like a bonus video. But again, I want to apologize for not posting the video in a while. Subscribe request playoffs coming up, and then uh, I'll be doing my reaction videos. Appreciate y'all watching. Check me out SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter. All the same name, Luna Wolf MXS. Check me out in the streets.